I have a real problem saying he has to be entirely on the hook for a property that he's not living in that is now occupied by your daughter. Well, one of the contracts was between me and him, and I would. So you had an agreement. The oral agreement was between the two. The of you. the oral agreement it was only a loan. And since the purpose of that agreement was to put a roof over your daughter's head. Mm -hmm. and she's got the roof and he's got no roof, mm -hmm. then I have to think about what this agreement means right now. I see the gift as you giving them an opportunity to get on their feet, but the money exchange as a loan. And part of the reason I see it that way is because you did engage in the transaction solely with your granddaughter's dad. Had yes. you wanted to give it as a gift, I think you would have said to both of them, you know, here's the money, whatever. And something about your answer twice bothers me. I think you live in that apartment because you were very careful to say, as of right now, twice. As of right now, I'm not living there. If you're under oath, if you didn't stay there last night and say, listen, I don't know if I'm coming, you could arrange that. I think you do live there. Well, I haven't been there for the last 30 days. Where were you before? Why are you estranged? Why was this child taken from you? The child was taken from us because of multiple domestic violence Domestic calls. violence incidents. Between... Is this with you and the baby's mother? Yes. Or what about the child? Because why would they feel the child was in jeopardy to take the child out of the home? Because the domestic violence... Um, Escalated? It, it was in the house while she was in there. And huh. Bess decided to take her out of there because they felt it was safer. She'd be in the custody of the state than in our custody. Was there ever an arrest with regard to either you or her daughter? Yes, her uh, daughter was arrested first for domestic violence sometime in 2020. And so you were the victim complaining, allegedly, in these domestic situations? Yes. She was arrested and it was at that point that they took the baby from the home? No. They left you with the child mm -hmm. and at some point after that, they decided, because you went back into the environment, that caused the problem. Is that accurate, ma'am? To the best of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge, it's a little bit more than that. What do you know it to be? Because you're estranged from your daughter as you testify, yes. correct? Um, she was arrested and then she came back to the apartment. They lived together. I spoke with them and they were having too much problems. And I suggested to Caesar to go ahead and take care of his house for the best interest of the child, because this was going on in my house. That's why I believe- That's why you asked them both to leave To, to move That's out, why... maybe when they have their house, they think, oh, okay. you know what I mean? Because sometimes when you live with somebody else, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So That's it's very, like- That was a very wise perspective on it. That and, maybe and, and it was very exhausting for us and exhausting for them too, you know, stressful. Right. And I told them, you know, um, I'll help you, whatever. You know, he asked me for the money, he had that apartment and everything was going great, but they're still having problems and the top Toxic situation grew more to the point that she got arrested and then he got arrested. So I've done enough them, domestic violence in my career to so, know that these situations, they don't extricate themselves. It's almost like they are addicted to the fighting and the abuse goes on and on. The child is the one to leave. Apparently, the state saw fit to at least put your child in protective services for a while. But that's why I know you're going back and forth in that department. I know that because no. you guys can't keep yourselves apart. Well, I have attempted several times to have police. You have attempted, but if you're the victim, you keep going back too. So, you know, don't like, say here that she's the only one living in that apartment. Right, of course. If that was the case, that would be a different impact on how she viewed these facts. And right. I'm telling you, I know you're living there. I'm not. You are back and forth in that place. Maybe your definition of living there is different than mine, but when you two get into it and you two get in a fight, you get out, because you're the one who feels you're victimized. You get out, you live in the car, things calm down, she calls you, I love you, I'm sorry, that's it. It's the same in every case.